It's been two months since the year started, and this year I've surrendered to starting the year slow instead of starting the year strong. We've had lots of snow this year, and I am loving to go outside as soon as the snow has landed and walk in silence around nature. Everything is so dormant, silent, and slow. It feels like the perfect time to go within and be softer with the world, our actions, and oneself. These past two months, I've been reflecting on what last year meant for me, as well as dreaming on what I want to bring forth in the future. Last year, I did my first ever vision board in a workshop led by my dear friend Nadia Payan, and I really enjoyed doing one. So this year I got together some magazines that I randomly had at home and made a 2024 vision board. There is something that feels so much fun about putting together a collage of all the things I want to cultivate in my life this year. It feels like an IRL Pinterest board of how I want this year to look like and most importantly feel like. So far in 2024, I've been spending lots of time with my friends in circle, in ceremony, and just sharing slow moments together. Throughout the years, I've gotten lots of questions of how I go about cultivating intentional friendships. And I believe it is a matter of both putting yourself out there in the type of spaces that nourish what you are interested in as well as being open with the things you are into. For me, those are creativity, nature, intentional living, and ceremony. I know it may not be the easiest thing to go out there and say something like, hi, my name is X, and I love to hear the messages plants share with us. But whenever I've opened myself in full vulnerability, magical things have happened. So just sharing these as an invitation to be a little bit more open about what truly matters to you and maybe that will invite others to do the same. I love making plant and mushroom based lattes and elixirs. When it comes to getting my ingredients, Anima Mundi Herbals is my go-to apothecary. I have been loving Anima Mundi for over six years now, not only for how delicious their products are, but because I am very aligned with their ethos. They only carry organic, well-crafted, and ethically grown plants and mushrooms, and you will never find any fillers or binders in their products. It is an honor to be able to share about them with you. And if you're curious to try them out, you will find a sweet discount code on this video's description. Hello, I am determined to this week finish the polypore mushroom border of my painting. It's been two months since the last time that I sat down to paint this painting because I've been doing all things shop and online business stuff and it's been a very long time that I've been stuck on the polypore border, so I'm determined to this week finish the polypore border so then I, I can go ahead and paint the polypore insects. And I thought I'm gonna be painting mushrooms today, so let's make ourselves a mushroom latte. 
So this latte has reishi, chaga, lion's mane, cordyceps, cacao, maple, rose, and milk. And Anima Mundi, the brand that I work with, they actually have a jar that contains all these mushrooms and cacao, but I just love making my own. I think the jar also includes like maitake, shiitake, agaricus, so like three more mushrooms. But anyhow, drinking mushrooms, painting mushrooms, conquering this painting, finishing the border. Let's go. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Making drinks like these, it's actually one of my love languages. So if you ever come visit me, that's something that I love doing for my friends, either cooking meals for them, lately desserts, but always lattes or elixirs, fungi and plant infused. Chef kiss. Yes, chef. Let's go. Something I am prioritizing this year is painting way more and I am happy to be putting it as a priority. With all the logistic side of living from my art, art making is sometimes the last thing on my list. And as counterintuitive as this sounds, I am sure lots of self-employed artists may understand what I mean. But I am just so happy to be rerouting these and making art making the center of it all. I love being able to connect with plants and mushrooms in different ways. From hiking and observing the lichen, mushrooms, seeds, and plants in my walks, learning how to identify them, to adding some flower petals into my painting water. For me, it feels like the absolute dream to be able to connect with our non-human kin the same day I will be painting them. One other way that I love doing these is by drinking or eating the same plant or mushroom I am painting. Of course, this isn't possible the majority of times, not only because not all plants or mushrooms are edible, but because I am sometimes painting very random ones. But the days I paint plants, I love to sip on an herbal tea and when I paint mushrooms, I make myself a mushroom latte. I feel we are communing in different ways and it makes my painting process much more interesting, fun and special. Part of my start the year slow vibe has been trying making desserts for the first time. My two loves have been cheesecakes and chocolates. For both of them, I am experimenting by, by adding different plants and mushrooms to them. Besides the flavor and medicinal properties they add, I love how they give new colors to my cooking. For this chocolate, I'm adding Anima Mundi's rose powder, which I am obsessed with. Rose has been revered as a heart opener and a plant that uplifts our energy. It is full of antioxidants, so it is a great ally for beauty and to reduce inflammation. I am using cacao butter, Anima Mundi ceremonial matcha and their cordyceps, as well as coconut sugar. This is my energizing chocolate, which also enhances calm and focus.
I am very excited to share with you that since September, I am now officially working with only watercolors. For years, I've been working mainly with earth-based watercolors, but also with a white synthetic drawing ink or white gouache, as I love the opaque matte consistency they give my paintings. But I have now switched those two for titanium white watercolor. The consistency I am getting with the titanium white instead of the drawing ink or gouache is just what I wanted to achieve. Sometimes the journey of finding or making the art supplies we want to be working with may be a long one, but I think it makes it so worthwhile when we find exactly what we were looking for. Or on the contrary, it's also wonderful when we are surprised and change routes along the way. It's been three or four years since the last time that I shared a morning or nighttime routine here on my videos and I feel that part of me was feeling, I don't know if the word's guilty, but I didn't want to be another person putting out their routines that feel that are so difficult to accomplish and I decided to stop doing them for the longest time. And you know what, for the longest time, my morning and nighttime routines have been really shifting a lot and I feel I've been connecting way more to how much we are similar to the essence of the water in the sense that we all go through cycles and there are moments where we're super aligned to our structure and our rituals and our routines and whatnot and moments where we just, you know, the chaos of life happens and we get out of our usual routine structure and that's been life for me <laughs> for the past year or so and i don't say that as believing that that's wrong i feel that i'm just letting myself just flow through it you know uh for years i was like all about 5 a.m every single day and hustling non-stop and right now i'm back at my 5 a.m routine but it's been months since the last time that I was really back in my 5 a.m. routine. I've been waking before right now for the past year. I've been more in like the 7, 7.30 a.m. routine and I just needed more sleep and I was like, you know what? Surrender. That's the way it is and that's fine. And I was of course staying up later so everything just shifted along and I don't know. I just felt like today sharing a little bit of how fine it is that our routines shift with our own cycles and I also you know I love creating aesthetic videos and really focusing on the storytelling and on the filmmaking I have so much fun creating videos that mean a lot for me that have intention that I love how they look but I also feel that sometimes I can also give the idea that we need to have like all these picture perfect situation in order to be 
in route with life and I feel that couldn't be further from the truth. There's moments where I have so much time in the morning and at night to focus on my routines, but there's times where I just have five minutes, you know? There's nights where I am binge watching a TV show and I've made this commitment with myself of at least the five minutes right before sleeping, reading. And last year I read around 30 something books and it's the year that I've read the most amount of books that I've ever read in my life. And I feel that was because I committed to a nighttime practice of reading. I actually got one of these lights for reading at night and it's been so helpful to to help me make it a practice to just read before bed. And yeah, if there's one thing that you take from this section of the video, I hope it is that we don't need like one hour to read before bed or, you know, like all the perfect things. Like, yeah, right now I have this delicious dream tea, but even when I just have five minutes and I have like hot water before bed, that can make the shift. It's not about like having all the goodies. I think it's more about carving the time and the space to at least five minutes before bed or five minutes as soon as we wake up to be with ourselves and to enjoy our own presence and come back to the breath. And it's something that I've been really focusing on lately. This tea that I'm currently drinking, the dream tea has Blue Lotus and Rose and Passion Flower, Galea Sacate Chichi, all these plants that are dream allies, so ease me into the dream world. And, you know, just lighting a candle, setting up the mood for at least five minutes before bed has been so helpful. There's times where I don't have such a delicious tea and just boiling some water and doing chamomile has been such a beautiful invitation to just be with myself. It's, for me, the biggest take is just turning my phone off and being with myself and reading and I feel that this time around I get to live just one life, my life as Caro, but I feel that through books I get to live other people's lives and I feel that's one of the main reasons why I'm so in love with books because through stories it's that we can travel to places we've never been or be people we've never been or befriend people that we've never met and I feel maybe that's why I also get very nostalgic when books finish because I know I won't visit that space anymore or I won't be hanging out with my new friends that I made in this book and yeah, so I'm reading these and right now for me it's also very big to have like a little skincare situation at night. I literally just add some oil to my hands and put it on my face and right now I'm actually using a day oil. It's called Day Glow Oil and it's by this woman here in the Hudson Valley, Diane, who has her own brand, Take Time Out for Beauty. And, you know, just what I was mentioning early, sometimes you don't have to have the nighttime delicious oil for your face. I'm using the one that is for day. Probably it's herbs that are best to be have in the morning, your face or whatever, but that's what I have and that's what I'm using and it feels so delicious still. So yeah, I just wanted to share how it's not about the things that we have, but rather carving out the time to spend with ourselves and, have these like introverted girl diaries <laughs> in the morning or at night. Um, so that's my invitation and this is the end of the vlog because I'm actually getting ready to go to bed. Thank you so much for tuning into today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you Anima Mundi for sponsoring today's video. If you've been around here you may know and if you don't know I love Anima Mundi Apothecary. They I'm such a fangirl since I knew about them for the first time five years ago. And I love how sustainable, wild harvest, ethical, fair trade, all their goodies are. And yeah, I just wanted to send you a big hug and I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. If you like what you see here, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And I'm also always welcoming comments if there's any topic or video you'd like to see regarding just nourishing days like today or artwork um yeah thank you and goodbye